I am so excited because today we're doing a true unboxing. Now I received this item about a week ago, but I didn't want to open it until I got a chance to open it with you guys. I want to know what you think. As always, I want to kind of just go over the bag and I want to start using her. So I want to transfer some of my stuff in there, my current essentials, and also just curious to see what actually fits. So if you guys want to see what I picked up, then stay tuned. As always, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Jenny. I, some might say I have a little problem because I just love handbags, but not just handbags. I love luxury. I love fashion. I like contemporary things. I love SLGs. I mean, anything, everything related. I'm assuming if you clicked on this video, you guys love that kind of stuff as well. And if you do, please consider subscribing. I just like talking about things that I personally pick up. I love doing unboxings like today's videos, reviews, comparisons, just kind of going through the pros and cons and what fits inside on these little things that we love to spend our money on. So again, if you guys like stuff like that, then please consider watching some of my future videos and I will drop my Instagram up here. Please consider following me because I just love posting about things that I have in my collection, things, how to style it, and just things that I see that I want to get your opinions on. So like I always mention, feel free to stop by, say hello, drop me a DM, chat with me anytime about handbags or luxury or anything related, and I would love to meet you guys. And with that said, let's just hop right into today's video. So before we hop into today's video, I just wanted to share some of my favorite silk products. And you guys know I've mentioned this before, but I just love Lily Silk and I feel like every time I get something from them, it just gets better and better. And I just become a huge fan of Silk in general. So I thought I would share a couple things that they sent to me. So thank you Lily Silk for sending these to me. I just wanted to share again, things that I personally love and I will never share anything that I personally don't love myself. But this one is they actually launch a bunch of new products. If you guys didn't know, Lily Silk actually makes a whole bunch of different silk items. So if you guys didn't know about Lily Silk, Lily Silk is a no waste company. So they have an interesting story because everything they do is eco-friendly. They don't like wasting materials. And just so you guys know, not all silk is created equal. I actually have some other silk pieces I picked up randomly i i always sleep with pillowcases that are soaked just because it's better for my skin but yeah i just realized that they don't feel as soft but lily silk is just as breezy airy and i love their product i have their i have a couple i have their pillowcases and i have a couple of other items um but they actually recently launched a couple of new pieces for the season and I actually love this one. This is their oversized button up shirt. You can wear it in so many ways. I'll pop up some ways that I personally style this, but it's just like when I wear this, I feel like I'm in this like airy and it doesn't even matter if it's summertime, it still feels very soft and it, the air flows through. It's just very comfortable. And if you guys didn't know, if you guys haven't watched my channel before, I'm just a big fan of button up because you can wear it open, you can wear it tied, you can wear it like this. I mean, you can dress it up and down and I'm just a huge fan. So, and I love a good green and I just think this is so, so comfortable. So this is something that I definitely recommend. I'll drop all the information below if you guys wanna check out some of their new products or this one then it will be in the comment box below. A second piece that Lily Silk has sent me is this little piece over here. This one is actually a tank top and it is also very loose and very airy. And this is a size small, but everything is a little oversized. So it gives that kind of professional, but you know, on trend look where it's not hugging your body necessarily. But I'll throw up some ways that I style this too. But I thought this would be so cute tucked in with some trousers. Also just wearing for summer with shorts. I don't know. I just, and I love a good like navy blue. And these are just like my colors. I love any kind of deep green, blue, um, or I like neutral colors. I think that's kind of my color scheme. Everything is made to perfection. And really what it is, is it, if you have sensitive skin, this will not irritate you at all. It's natural golden silk, which kind of prevents 
anything from rubbing against your skin and that's why a lot of people with sensitive skin often go with a brand like Lily Silk. Also, I believe this is 100% mulberry silk as well. If you guys didn't know, it's a top tier silk. It's not mixed in with all the other stuff that makes it feel very scratchy and itchy like other silks does. So I don't know. I personally am a huge fan. There's a couple other pieces that I actually really want to pick up. I'll throw some up here, but they have these trousers that kind of like um, air out on the bottom. And I just think they'd be so cute paired with a tank top. Again, if you guys are interested, I do. they did give me a promo code and I do not get any commission or anything like that. But as always, why not save some money if you can? So if you are interested in picking up or looking at Lily Silk, I will drop all the information below. So hopping right back in to this unboxing, here is a piece over here. Now this item I've been kind of eyeing for a while, but it's never been like a color that really spoke to me or a pattern that really spoke, spoke to me until this one. But I also, didn't want to buy it at full price, but I saw that Rakuten, you guys know I'm a Rakuten lover, Rakuten was doing a 15% off at Saks Fifth Avenue. So this one was ordered from the department store and it just came like this. It's not from the actual boutique. Uh, but yeah, let's just open her up. I love boxes that just rip open like this. So I don't even need to actually get a box cutter. Here is what the box looks like. You'll see Saks Fifth Avenue. Everything's wrapped really nicely so far. You open up this part right here. Came wrapped up, which is good. And you know, honestly, you guys know, departments ordering bags from department stores always worry me a little bit. And honestly, as much as I love Nordstrom, Nordstrom is by far the worst. I know a lot of you reach out to me with your experiences, but what Nordstrom does is they just take bags off the shelf from their store where there's no problem with that, but they don't check. So they just throw the bag, no dust bag or anything, into a cardboard box, no tissue paper, just the bag itself. And a lot of times, at least what I have noticed, is it comes used. So I don't know if it's a return item, but like my YSL Toy Lulu experience, I'll drop the video below if you haven't seen it, but I got it and it smelled like it's been used for years. Like it's been mothballs or it smells like really like a gym. It just didn't smell very good. Obviously it went back, but I couldn't believe that I paid, you know, that bag I think at the time was like $1,200, which was, you know, a lot better than now, but $1,200 and then you get a smelly used bag. Like how unprofessional is that for a department store? So ordering from a department store like this, you see like a brand new bag. I mean, that just makes me kind of happy. So yeah, here, I mean, it's wrapped up so well. Let me just take all this off. How cute. Okay, so here is the bag, you guys. It's the Marc Jacobs tote bag. Now I've been wanting the tote bag for so long and I actually wanted it when the denim one came out. I'll drop it over here. But then the more I looked at it, the more I liked it from afar, but I didn't like it like for me to use because you guys know I'm kind of a plain person and I just need more neutral bags. And I did it, I, so I debated between this and the lilac leather version, which I'll pop up here, which I really like that one too, but it was a little, the leather is really luxe, but also very heavy. And I just know myself, the thought of actually putting things in there and then it getting heavy, I just didn't want to deal with. So therefore I was like, hmm, in theory it sounds good, but in reality, I know I'm not going to use it. And then I saw this online. I wasn't sure about it. I did make a video to say that this will be a good dupe for the Balenciaga Cava's tote. I'll drop it below if you guys haven't watched that one because it kind of gives me that same vibe, but you know, I just don't want to spend that kind of money. And this one with my Rakuten 15% off, and I think Saks was doing another deal on top of that. I think I got this back for a little over 200, which is a steal in my opinion. What really caught my attention is if you look at this, it's not a very like it's not just a regular canvas there's what it, it's like a jacquard material lined in this like nylon silky fabric but the jacquard detail is really nice in person and and even the lettering on here is like that jacquard sewn in look the back just says mark jacobs here and i actually was waiting for this one to come in department stores but at first I didn't see any online. So far it looks great. The zipper itself is silver. So this one isn't gold hardware. 
you guys know me, I obviously would prefer gold hardware, but no big deal. Here is what this looks like. Okay, inside has cardboard. So yeah, they definitely pack this really nicely. Oh, how cute, it has like a Marc Jacobs um, authenticity slash care card. And the best part was I love the strap to this. And I'll open that up and share with you guys. Here is the strap. The strap is a thick material, thick as in like, it's a thicker statement strap. It's not a thin strap, which is another reason why I actually did not want to get the um, leather version because that strap is so thin. And many reviews I've watched, they said that the bag itself is pretty heavy. So with a thin strap, it just like, the weight just like sits on your shoulder. I wasn't a huge fan of that. So. I kind of figured, you know what, this is something that I will use long term. So I picked up this one. So let's see. There's silver hooks, D rings on each side. You can see that over here. The zipper pull, let me just remove. There's so much wrapping on everything. Look at that zipper. It looks so nice. And the strap, let's take a look at this. Yeah, strap. here is the strap. And I actually felt like this strap could be used on other bags too which personally I really loved. So yeah, and it's not too many branding. So it doesn't say like Marc Jacobs. You guys know I don't want too much branding on there. This part's leather and it's silver. It's adjustable too. So this is the size of the bag. It actually, it's not that big. I was afraid it'll be too big because I didn't need a, like I was debating between a small version because I thought, should I use that for work? But you guys know like Longchamp is kind of just like my uh, bag of choice when it comes to work bags because it's easy to clean and it's light. So when I throw my laptop in there, it doesn't weigh my shoulders down. So I was like, you know what? I want this for an everyday bag. So I want it to be everyday friendly and I don't want a big size. So this is the mini. Just for reference, here is my iPad mini and it's a perfect fit. So if you want it, a bag that carries more, then yeah, for sure, get this one. This is kind of dusty though. Just to make sure nothing is wrong. I mean, you can kind of, so I'm just examining the bag because as I said, I haven't opened it. I mean, it's not a big deal, but if you want to nitpick, so you see how like the sewn in fabric kind of sticks out on the sides, but I don't think you can see it from this way. It should be fine. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's really cute. Let's just move right into this bag. Guys, no, I've been obsessed with the bum bag and I've been using it every day. Best purchases in a while. But I do want to switch into this because after this video, I want to, I need to go to the grocery store and get, pick up some stuff for the week. So number one, I'm going to throw in my catch all, which is the my design by Celine Dior pouch. My wallet of choice I've been using is a little Sanrio My Melody. How cute. Is some Advil I'm gonna throw in there. I keep it up. So lotion, sunscreen, and again this will obviously fit. It's so big. Here is uh, my Ana Luisa pouch I always carry in case I want to take off my rings. Here is my keys, other vitamins I keep, my chapsticks, sanitizer in here, I keep this is my um powder this is a scrunchie i always carry yeah there's so much more room and if i obviously if you have a mini pochette it'll fit in here perfectly glasses these are my new celine glasses if you guys are interested to see these i will um i could do a little video on that but yeah there's that so here it is with the strap i think it just looks so chic so cute definitely very much me and i love this again the strap i can use it on something else i can make this higher lower i mean i think this is actually sits pretty well this is what it looks like so far um but i think for me for this bag i probably will just carry it more so like this because i think it just looks better um yeah so here it is okay really quick pros and cons again never use this bag obviously right just initial first impressions. Uh, number one, I think it's adorable. I love the size. I love this jacquard look and it feels very luxe. And don't forget the price point is amazing. Um, pro number two is part of the reason I picked this specific one is the strap. 
I just love the thick strap. It's so comfy and, and I think it fits the bag really well. Um, and I think... Yeah, like for the Marc Jacob tote bag line, I definitely think that this is probably my favorite one that I've seen so far. So, and again, like it just fits so much and it's not heavy. It's like a really substantial size, but it doesn't feel heavy when I have my stuff in here, which is great. So I would say the cons initially, um, I noticed is the inside doesn't have any pockets it's just like a big hole so yes I can get a Zumoni insert or some other insert but you guys know how I feel like I like inserts on certain bags this is already a really thick material bag so I don't want to put an insert in there because then it will weigh it down it'll make it bulky and it'll kind of take the like kind of like slouchy look away from it so I'm not going to be getting an insert Plus, I think with something like this, I can use pouches to kind of organize my stuff. And it's not super big. Like, you can definitely, like, work your way around it. It's not a big deal at all. Now, the thing I probably like the least about this bag is it doesn't have an inner pocket. But, okay, I don't know this line that well because, like I said, I never really examined it. But I know the leather version has inside pockets. Is it the mini version that doesn't have any pockets on any of them? If you guys have this bag in this size, comment below. Do the other styles offer an inner mini, um, like they have like a flap here with like little pockets, right? Because it would be nice to have that because I could drop in my, um, my keys, my lipstick, and like just quick things that I don't, like my key fob is so small, right? It's this right here. So yeah, I can put it in the pouch, but sometimes I'm just lazy. I just throw it in a pocket so I can grab it. But like this, I literally have to go in and look for it. So I wish it did have a pocket, Marc Jacobs. Why is there no pocket in here? Even the little one. Um, but other than that, no complaints. I mean, it would kind of be cool if it had feet, but not a huge deal. I still think it like sit on the table fine if you were to, you know, put it on a table at a restaurant or something like that it's not a problem and I do think that this bag you know like because if you look at this part it's not a white it's like a taupe white because of that the dirt won't show on this bag so I think even if it gets dirty you can probably use some like soap or spray or something and get it off I think that this bag definitely does have longevity associated with it so all in all like I definitely like this bag I think it's super cute I just wish that it had an inner pocket. But those are just my initial thoughts. Comment below if you guys have this bag. Do you guys agree with me? Do you let me know like what you guys think about this bag? I'm just curious. But all in all, like I do think it's a really cute bag, great price point. And yeah, I would say like I haven't purchased a Marc Jacobs piece in so long. So really happy to add this to my collection. Just wanted to hop on, do this little unboxing. Again, like if you guys are interested in any of the Lily Silk products. Check out the description box below. I mean, it's awesome. I just think it's so comfy and cozy. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for sticking through this video. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.